Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Japan. Now, where we left off, we uh, we were kind of like dealing with some of these boats and stuff like that, and they were being annoying and killing my units and just generally being a thorn in my side. I have some ranged units in position to hopefully start to deal with them, and I'm also working on settling some cities down here. But we do have production to look after in this city here, and I was planning on trying to get a galley out, but I won't get it before cartography, so I'm probably just going to work on repairing the lighthouse to get a little bit more food in here. A little bit more food and housing so the city can grow. Now, I'm going to harvest this stone, even if it is a slightly inefficient harvest, because I need to finish the mausoleum. Now, what this will do is it will grant me a free Admiral, but most importantly, it'll give my great engineers an additional charge, which is very, very powerful if we're going to be picking up those engineers that give you uh, wonder construction, which we will definitely be doing because we want to use them to, to build the two critical wonders that you want to go for in a tourism victory, which are the uh, Crystal Red and Tor and the Eiffel Tower. Speaking of the Eiffel Tower, we're going to want to get there pretty quick because the AI is a little bit ahead of me in science. Not too far ahead of me, but I need to kind of pick up the pace. Anyways, so this city is doing pretty well. I could use the housing, so I'm going to go for the lighthouse in here. I need the housing to try and get this city up to a slightly higher level. Um, so that I can build another district. Because it's districts that I want, like theater squares and stuff. Uh, let's see. Forms an armada out of a military unit. That'll be quite useful, um, actually, once I get these galleys up. I could have caravel armadas. Oh my god, if I got frigates. If I got a... If I grabbed myself a quadrireme in a city with good production, wow. I could do a lot of work with a quadrireme. Perhaps I'll get it in Amsterdam after it finishes its um, thingy thingy. Uh, what I should also have slotted in here is the 100% uh, production towards naval units. If I was playing correctly, I would have that slotted in. And I could even, I could have probably done some, ch like, you know, chops in here and stuff like that. But, you know, that requires me having my harbor up. And it's just all kind of like, it's all kind of working against me a little bit right now. Um, can this be a, this is unlikely to ever be a seaside resort. So I feel comfortable building a farm here. To try to net this city a little bit more housing and I'll probably chop out this marsh as well to drop a house a, a, a farm there so let's get some more crossbowmen on our coastline to try and kill these boats now I remembered why I was putting a forest here it's because this is going to be part of a national park but for now it's going to be a mine uh, let's get this online as well And let's just chop out these things because we need to, we really, 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 really want to get uh, this great person. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to save up points. What I may actually do is a couple of industrial zone logistics in here to try and net him a little bit quicker. And we'll go to the next turn. So we have guaranteed ourselves a golden age as well. Thankfully, we got a lot of points from killing the Netherlands. And catapults are actually really good at killing um, boats. Surprisingly so. Hmm. The city needs some housing. I also need to start building ancient walls, but I'll quickly grab a granary so the city can grow a little bit. Um, I'm saving up my fates to purchase settlers. Uh, because there's... I have two cities. I need two more settlers at least. One for over here. One for over here, because I'm sending these two down here to get started on these sorts of places. And the Pantanal, or sorry, the, um, yeah, the Pantanal will provide me with, um, some very, very, very nice culture and growth. Well, it's not exactly exceptional growth, but it's at least self-sustaining growth. So I'm going to have you heal up for a turn and move through. See, I can move through these units on land, but when it comes to, like, when they're in the water, they just act as impenetrable barriers, and that's really annoying. Exceedingly annoying. Exceptionally annoying. There's a pop ten city. That's very nice. I also feel a sneeze coming on. That's not so nice. 
Okay, so he sent me a delegation, that's good. We're fostering... I'm not meeting your demands. Move you down here to provide a little bit more combat strength. Let's move you down here to also provide more coastal defense. You have three build charges. Let's go get this fish online. Wait there for a turn. Let's run away from that caravel. Try to keep our galleys alive if we can. We have plenty of gold to upgrade. So he's denouncing me, he thinks I'm a warmonger. Okay. That that warmonger penalty should slowly drain away. Okay, there's Reformed Church. This is the government that we want. This will make my faith purchases even better. Which is nice, because we're in a faith purchasing era. And then I'm going to put in the 100% production towards naval units. Just for a few turns while I build them up. Kill there. Once we upgrade these galleys, I'm probably going to have a caravel armada and a frigate armada. And then I might consider some more war. <laughs> uh, let's choose our thingy here. I think I do want to get my art museums going, so let's go ahead and work on that. I also have a great person here. Excellent. Do I have a... Do I have a campus without a library somewhere? No. But the plus two science on universities will be quite useful. Because we can pick that up relatively soon. So we'll probably go education into uh, siege tactics. We're going to choose our production over here. Um. So this city is having trouble growing. Right. Yeah, that makes sense because it's working these crappy tiles. Well, crappy in terms of they don't provide much food. Now, let's have a quick glance here. Am I going to want to turn this into seaside resorts later? I probably am, but a, a couple of farms in the meantime wouldn't be a terrible move. I also need to start building the walls. I need to start prioritizing that. Um, you may as well go Garrison Shizuoka. Build that there. And you can come over and help the city with some farms. Slowly making our way through these treacherous uh, city-state lands. And we'll go to the next turn. I think some of my trade routes might have been pillaged or something, because they seem to be missing. This is getting pillaged again, how annoying. I can't even build the thing I want to build on it. We hit pop 10 in here. What's going to be the big thing? It's probably going to be... Oh, I could get the Alhambra. Military policy slot wouldn't be terrible for most of the game. Um, a theater square wouldn't be terrible either, and there's some really good spots for them. Right here seems like a plus four is really nice on a flatland grassland tile, so let's get that theater square up. I'm not going to build a lighthouse. Uh, we got a trader in here. How are you doing in pop population? I know you were a little bit behind, so I was kind of hoping to force grow you. Um, but there was also other stuff I wanted to work on, particularly these new cities. I wanted to trade with Alexander, so let me see if I can trade with him from Shizuoka. That might work. Uh, in the meantime, you may as well build a medieval wall for me. Make your way down this way. Let's 
see if we can bait him into attacking our galley rather than attacking, rather than pillaging. You come along as well. And I don't even know how to get you home. Military of military, knowledge of military engineering has changed. Let's grab that trade route. So it looks like he ran away. You heal up, you can shoot there. We're slowly clearing the sea so that we can settle. So our Settlers should be even cheaper now. Yeah, look at that. 285 faith. Builders for 90 faith. That's really, really great. Um, so, looking at over here, it seems like there's certainly potential for a couple. Of seaside resorts, so we may consider that. There's also some seaside resorts over here. Let me have a look. How many seaside resorts could I get here realistically? Quite a few. Unfortunately, this tile is out of range because I kind of want that tile to be a part of my thing. Um, I think I'm thinking I'm going to settle on the iron and just sacrifice. Mm. See, it's hard to make that call. Do I give up the iron tile? Settle like here. Yeah, I think I settle like here. That will get me all these tiles. To get me one extra, so I'm gonna grab another settler here. These are long, long, long-term cities I'm settling. Let's get you into the water. Can I trade with him? He must be just out of range. I can't even trade with Armagh. That looks like it should be in range. Damn. I'll trade with Kyoto. Whatever. I'll get this city developing a little bit quicker. Come back to heal. Uh, yeah, let's pop down a couple farms. Let's pop down a farm triangle for this guy. If your actions inspire others to dream more. There's the caravel. Upgrade to caravel. Upgrade to Caraval. There's Exploration boosted. Caraval upgrade. Let's get the quad drive in for frigates in a little bit. Might do some sort of naval thing. At the very least, we'll have strong navy. Okay, a granary has been completed over here. Um, the city has pretty poor production. So I might just work on like a Jeep district, like a holy site to provide me with more faith. Um, there's a good holy site right here. Further hurts the production in the city, but you know, what are you going to do? Plus three theater, theater square. Slowly take this out. So now I'm feeling a little bit more confident about moving settlers out onto these lands. So I'm going to faith purchase. Have I placed my district in here? I have, so I feel safe faith purchasing a settler here. Okay, you're in position. I want you on the water as well. Go there. Make your way over there. 
come back next turn. Let's force work these food tiles to force the growth. It'll grow in five turns. That'll be nice, and then we can go back to work on these. So he's impressed with my scientific research. So, even though I'm playing on DD, my research is pretty damn strong right now, as is my culture. Now, I do need to keep an eye on this, because they have been snatching up all these great people. There's mathematics, and we're going to be able to build universities soon as well. Kill that guy. So now I finally feel safe to escort my uh, thingies. Let's turn this into an armada. Boop. Very nice. The Carvel armada. Looks like it could do a lot for me if I were to attack someone. And you're going to sit there. You wait one turn. You go into alert. You settle this city. So what was that score I just got there? Three more cities than the biggest civilization rival. Now he's becoming a little bit more upset with me. So he'd give me 34 gold per turn. Sorry about that, somebody rang me on the phone. Uh, it's not a big deal. But, you know. Uh, you gotta you gotta be at the beck and call of people. So I think I can get 200 gold plus 27 gold per turn for these two luxuries. That seems like a good deal. Um, he's probably the only person in the game that'll give me a good deal right now. So in terms of developing this city... Um, <clears throat> I think I would like to get a entertainment district. This will provide me with uh, a lot of potential local amenities, but most importantly, it'll give me some tourism. Um, so let's get the entertainment district going. But I also want to build all these things as well. Monument, Granary, Ancient Walls. So we'll build an entertainment district later on in the game. But we just lock its price in now, which is quite useful. Go into alert mode. Goodbye. Uh, she will not give me a good deal for my luxuries right now, so I'm just waiting for the relationships with these AIs to cool off a little bit until they come to their senses that I'm not a warmonger, that this is... I, I only attacked Korea and the Netherlands in self-defense. So Medieval Fairs is on the way to unlocking the stuff that we want. Let me just go in here. On towards Humanism. And Ancient Walls have been completed. Let's get started on Medieval Walls. Now, let's promote you because I want you to get up to Curator. Plus three gold from each foreign trade route. Uh, passing through this city. I like the commercial hub and harbor one prefer. I, it's it's my preference. Okay, let's make our way here. Let's go into alert. Go over there. Skip over here. Alert. Unit needs orders. Alert. You make your way slowly over there. Hopefully these barbs don't move around. Hopefully this horseman deals with them for me. Uh, I want you to heal up, not go into alert. I want you to fortify in this city to protect it. And we'll go to the next turn. We have different governments. Yes, we do. That's a good observation of you. Medieval era ends soon, so we're going to want to spend up this faith. Do I need another settler? Let me double check that. There we 
there we go. That got me a thing with Sandai. I think that also got me an envoy for clearing that. And it did. Vilnius got, gave me another envoy for clearing that out. Um, in terms of what I want to do, let me have a look. Hmm. <laughs> so I'll just keep hitting you there. Alright, just kind of open up this uh, Fog of War so we can maybe trade with them from Groningen. Getting trade routes with the AI is going to be difficult on this map. That's the one thing about island maps, is it's difficult to get trade routes. And those are pretty critical for uh, tourism victories. So it looks like we have secured Isidore. Through our actions. Now, I need one more settler over here. And now I can start faith purchasing builders. So where do I need those builders? A builder over here wouldn't be terrible. Probably going to reserve that faith purchasing for any of my new cities. Alright, and we'll probably faith purchase all those builders on the last turn of this era. So, trader has been completed here. I guess we'll pick up Medieval Walls here, and we'll choose our production. It's time to start building all these walls and getting them out of the way. We've had that wall card slotted in for a very long time. I also need to get rid of this Maritime Production card and see if I can slot something else in. This Great General isn't required, so I'll just put him asleep. And then I will create an Armada. What? Where's my Armada? What? Wait a minute, I think the game just bugged out. <laughs> uh, let me fix this. Uh, I think because the units were stacked, it didn't give me the armada, so that looks like it's a bug, so I'm, I'm happy to reload for a bug. I wouldn't reload for... I wouldn't reload during a Let's Play for anything other than a bug. On a live stream, I would probably reload if, uh, if I was trying something out. Like, in, as an example, but yeah, that looked like a bug, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna reload that. But yeah, I think the game is going really well so far. I think we have, you know, we killed two AIs, which kind of has a downside. The downside is that those AIs are no longer available for me to generate tourism against. So that's a that's actually a pretty big downside of killing them. Um, but the upside is, you know, we, we killed some AIs and got their land. So yeah, there we go. It actually worked that time. So that did look like it was a bug. Let's recruit this great general, and we'll put him immediately to sleep. We'll choose production over here. I believe we were working on medieval walls. And then similarly over here, we got to work on ancient walls. It's time to get our walls up, I think. In fact, uh, you should work on that first. Okay, we'll that tribal village. Settle here. You're probably not going to build any districts except for a harbor. And the one that provides... Tourism, the water park. Granary, monument, ancient walls, go. Ah, yes, I can trade with Russia. Excellent. This is going to work towards improving our relationship. Oh, I'm just going to put you on auto explore. Go find the world for me. Well, I really want to know what more of what's over here, actually, so I think I'll manually explore with you. Tokyo is being hit by a caravel. Tiny piece of faith. Excellent. Temple constructed. Let's get to work on ancient walls. Let's faith purchase a builder to put some mines down here. Get to work on your walls. You go into alert. You settle right here. Yet more unnecessary error score, which does not translate over, unfortunately. Granary. Aqueduct. Monument. So what are we going to build first? I'm thinking Granary. Aqueduct. Get some housing in there. Going to alert. 
Keep shooting there. Next turn. Couple of small little hiccups in this episode, but you know, that's just life. He's attacking me, okay. Uh, medieval walls have been completed up here. May as well get started on the university. That will provide you with housing and a lot of science. That's six science per turn. That's a decent amount. All right, so let's start throwing down some mines for the city to get more production. I also might want to do a bit of tile swapping around to try to get more uh, efficient yields and stuff like that and set up my, my empire a little bit more effectively. Look at that, that's just gross. That's just gross. What I just did to that barbarian. So Isidore is on lockdown, get him in two turns. No need to spend faith. Let's grab the amphitheater. That's our victory. One of our victory conditions is getting as many of those as I can. Unfortunately, Russia is steaming ahead. Great artists. is already earning the ones from the Renaissance, and we're heading into the Renaissance. Slightly... Russia is probably the most annoying opponent to have in a um, tourism game. So let's throw down that. Entertainment District, Granary, Monument, Ancient Walls. This city will need a trade route. Which is useful because I have one coming. Kill a unit with a quadrium. Can you go pick that up? Drop a mine here, we'll go to the next turn. Hiccups are not worth the big ups. Medieval walls. So we're going to start purchasing a bunch of builders, I think. Um, in a couple turns, once, once this runs out. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call this the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I think we're making good progress. We do need to make sure that we secure the uh, Eiffel Tower. We have a couple of errors to work on that, though. So I'm not too worried. Oh god, I just clicked off the wrong thing. Siege tactics. We have a couple of errors to work on that, so yeah. We also want the Crystal Red and Tor. That's like one of the big ones. And uh, that's, that's about it. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!